Got any four? 720 right now. Good looking morning already. So I was thinking I could either tell you about Ricky Martin coming out of the closet, which seems really obvious, or I could just get off my chest that I have breast cancer. Okay, there. No better. A sudden announcement on the morning drive. Well, this seems like as good a time as any to bring it up. An emotional reveal of a terrifying time. For seven years on our show, we have always made it a point to be honest about things that are going on in our lives. Not what folks listening may have expected, but what one unexpected voice needed to say. You think that you can prepare your whole life for that moment and you're just not prepared for it at all. Why do you have to hate on my man? Why? <laughs> Listen enough to Star 94 in the morning and you may feel like you already know Cindy Simmons' voice quite well. You guys are <laughs> jerkies. She's not putting on a role, she's not playing a character. She's Cindy. A native of L.A. who passed through Nashville on her way to co-hosting the Cindy and Ray show in Atlanta. And... Money, Abby. They should be. A single mom who absolutely adores her adorable daughter, Lily. She's in a huge pool bathing suit phase right now, and uh, that makes me happy. Everything about her makes me happy. <laughs> but of course, Cindy's a daughter, too. A daughter who twice watched her own mother battle and beat breast cancer. During a monthly self-exam earlier this year, Cindy felt a lump, a lump that would require a biopsy. I remember going home that night and uh, calling my mom, and that was hard, because I said, you know, I have to tell you something. And she goes, honey, it's, it's not going to be anything. You'll be, you'll be fine. But when the call finally came, the news was the worst, the early stages of breast cancer. I don't know if every person who gets diagnosed has that moment where, oh my gosh, I could die. And I think that was the hardest part for me because I thought, I'm a child, you know, I'm too young to die. She needs her mommy around. And uh, once you realize that your diagnosis is not necessarily a death sentence, it doesn't have to be, then you start to kind of come to grips with it. Good morning, Dr. Oz. Hey, how are you? On this day, Cindy chats about her cancer with a celebrity doctor, all while awaiting a call from her real doctor, oncology results, to see whether or not she'll have to go through chemotherapy. Uh, yeah, every day it's like this nerve-wracking experience. Like it'll For Cindy, part of coming to grips with breast cancer has been turning it into a public discussion. But the decision to do that, even for someone who regularly opens herself up to strangers, was a struggle. We discussed it, and... Uh, it was completely up to her. It was whatever she wanted to do. We never said, today's the day, we're going to tell everybody, you know, you know, just, I knew some point she would just say, you know, I need a minute. How long before you said it did you decide you were going to say it? Two seconds. I have to have a mastectomy, which is scary. This um, was one day after her diagnosis, laying out her fears on the air, show. showing her fearlessness in doing so. So it is scary to think that you're going to lose you know, a part of your body. If one woman hears my story and goes home and does their self-monthly exam or uh, goes and makes the mammogram appointment they have been putting off for a while, then I'll talk about this until I'm blue in the face. Even when she gets the oncology call she's been waiting for, yeah. and again, the news is the worst. So she called today and said, I'm going to recommend that you do chemotherapy. Another hard hit. Another year and a half, at least, before Cindy can move on. But also another chance to be brave and be an example. You know, that you can still be a mom and a beautiful woman and, and live your life and go on. And that's, I think, probably a very important message. It's like a 6K now. There are days that you feel like, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. This is a lot. The surgery is a lot. The treatment is going to be a lot. But you don't really have a choice. You have to get through it because of my faith because of my family and because of my friends. All that together is gonna make me survive all of this. Matt Pearl, 11 Alive News.